Hey guys, how are you? This is Harjit here. I'm back with one more video in our Spark streaming tutorial series. Today's video is about a Hello World program that we're going to do. So finally, some coding. Let us start it. So what are we trying to do as part of this program? So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we are going to use Spark to monitor a directory any new file that is being created in that directory that will be treated as an event remember we had said that spark streaming streaming is nothing but a continuous stream of events here event is creating a uh, file in that directory so whatever spark streaming will do it will wait for those events as soon as that event happens it will read the contents of the file and then it will process the content of that file and will do a word count on that. Let us see what is the code that we need to write for that. For this, we need to do some import statements. I think they are self-explanatory. Then we need to create a streaming context. We'll say Spark streaming context is equal to streaming context. We'll pass it Spark context and we will keep the batch interval as two. So in simple words, whatever files have come within two seconds of this batch interval will be treated in a single RDD. Once we have created Spark streaming context, then we need to tell it that which is the directory that we are interested to monitor. We'll read the contents of that directory. Then we'll do some word count code on the contents that have been read from the directory. So this word count code, I'm not going to explain in detail because I hope that you already know RDDs and uh, you know how to do word count. So uh, at a very high level, I'm going to split the contents of every line by a space. And then I'm going to create a, for every word that I get for that, I'm going to create a tuple word one and then I'm just going to add up the frequency of those words and then I'm going to print it. Once we have told Spark that this is the code that I want to run uh, as part of our streaming job, then, I, then we need to start streaming job. Uh, we'll start it by doing sse.start and then we'll pass it a command called sse.await termination. Uh, this means that Spark need to keep on running this thing until unless I pass a termination, uh, termination hook to uh, this job or I pass any interrupt to this job. But this was the explanation of code at very high level. Uh, we'll actually run the demo as part of a separate video. I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and you are enjoying this series. Please subscribe to our channel and share the videos with your friends. Thank you.